Hey guys, what's going on today? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Um, today I have kind of a quick tip for you on texturing and a way to speed up your workflow. So if you take a look at this, let's, uh, let's assume that we like everything here except for the red texture and we want to change that. Well, we could go into our texture and we could uh, you know, change the color or whatnot and it's all going to update, right? But let's say that we want to bring in a completely new texture. So if we go to our object browser and say we want to bring in this synthetic material and put it on there. So it has color, diffusion, luminance, bump. It's got all this stuff kind of preset. We don't want to go into our red uh, texture and reload all those different things into the individual channels. We just want this guy to replace all the red. There's one way we could do this, the uh, ridiculous way, uh, is going through here and kind of clicking on all the ones that are red and then replacing them. That's just stupid, right? The way that we can do this in like two clicks is go to our red texture, go to functions and click on select texture tags slash objects. Go ahead and do that. And now you'll notice that everything that is red is now highlighted, right? So what we can do is one way you could do this is take your synthetic and drop it right onto the, uh, the mesh that's highlighted. But if you go into uh, the individual items here, you can see that it actually dropped it on top of the red. It didn't actually replace the red, which is what we want to do. So let's go ahead and undo that. And if we look over here, um, all these textures that are uh, highlighted right now, it says selection and it says multiple values, meaning there's a bunch of them selected, right? And then in material, it says red. Uh, yeah, so this slot right here with the red, that's where we want to drag our synthetic material drag and drop that in there and it updates everything and if you look over here you can see that it actually replaced the red it didn't just put it on top of them so that's how to select multiple items really quickly and replace them save you ton of time if you're working with a very complex model but want to make some changes so i hope you learned something thanks for checking out my site we'll talk again soon bye everybody